Well, I have um, rowed a boat around Grenada twice. Well, I kayaked around once. I tried windsurfing around, but the wind was no good, and you know, in a windsurf, you need wind. Mount St. Catherine, which is Grenada's highest mountain. My records show that I climbed it 217 times. Over the years, I covered the entire terrain of Grenada. My name is Telfor Bido. I was born in Grenada on the 15th of October, 1939. When I was 22 years of age, as my hobby, I started hiking. People in my um, village, you know, they looked at it as something, well, only people with no sense will do things like that, just go and make themselves muddy and tired in the mountains. That didn't sound right. In 19... 89, the tourism department, they realized that tourism was a big thing and people liked hiking. And somebody told them, well, this guy has been hiking all these years. And so right there, I got into hiking as a guide. I had lots and lots of people over the years from different countries and it, I found it very enjoyable. I like doing it and I have made many long-time friends. One of my um, hiking visitors, he mentioned me as the um, Indiana Jones of Grenada. I did not know who in Indiana Jones was. I just turned 20. I spent one year working with British Railway in South Hall. And then I came back. I said, it's too cold here for me. Over the years, I learned a lot about the island, the physical nature of the island, the structure with the lakes and rivers and mountains and so on. It's not a road map or so, it's just a topographic map to show the lie of the land with the backbone. In school, I liked geography, and then I studied ocean navigation and land surveying. I worked for seven years with the government, surveying lands. Map making was part of the fun. Whenever I want a map, I can draw a map. One of my students, who is now a big man, he's called Simon Green, and he started hiking with me when he was about eight years of age. I knew at that time will come when I will not be able to do the big walks. But I have the memory of it. My diary, I sit down and read what I did 50 years ago and whatnot. Gives me a good feeling. <laughs> Mount St. Catherine. <laughs> Number two of 1963. You <laughs> know, a great lesson from this trip. I think it's a very interesting job. And when I look back, I think I have had an enjoyable time.